At the moment in London, there's a very unusual big exhibition on, and amongst all the unusual things made out of steel, we spotted this. And it's the latest thing in furniture. It's a stainless steel shelf set, and it's been designed by a very famous gentleman, H. Ringo Starr. Hello, Ringo. Welcome Hi. to Blue Peter. Thank you. How long have you been designing furniture now? About 18 months. 18 months. Well, this is a very impressive piece. Uh, you can move your shelves up and down, can't you? They're Any sort level. Of adjustable. Yeah. Now, that on the top is black, and that's wood. Now, that's not steel. Uh, no. That's just being put up there for now. We, we made four of these. Yeah. And that one was spare, and I thought, well, it may look nice on top of there. That's really an occasional table where you can put records in the side and store tapes or whatever you like. You know, it's which... good storage so up there, and you just yeah. take it down and use it yeah. as a small table. Well, apart from the big stuff, you also make the small stuff. We've got uh, some steel objects here which have been chrome-plated. These are yeah. ornaments, aren't they? Yeah. And well, that's a little box, actually. That. This one? Yeah, that opens nice. Pull oh, it yeah. inside, you see. And you do mobiles as well, but this isn't steel. It is no. mobile. Well, Perspex I like as much as steel. It, it's the sort of texture and the feel of it all yeah. that you like, is it? And this is like, you know, people have things on desks and tables. Yeah. And that's just to have a bit of movement in it. You just turn it around if you get a bit fed up looking at it. And, it and this, this is all mercury and it just runs all the mm. way down. A bit like an egg timer, isn't it? Yeah, right. Well, the, these are some mobiles. Now, you've got a larger mobile. Over here. Yeah. Well, this was the what's first it? thing we ever did. Yeah, what's, what's this one then? Well, I'll turn it on. This one's called another one. There's a funny there, isn't there, Sammy? Well, this is called another one for when people go in and buy it. Yeah. And they say, could I have another one? Yeah. <laughs> have you got one already? <laughs> and the, the, these little discs uh, yeah. go around uh, and pick up again in the spiral. That, and See, the, the spiral takes them up to the top and then they fall on their own. Yeah. And these discs were what started it all. Maureen bought me some of them to play with in my hand. Yeah. And uh, I got a bit fed up and so I designed a machine to make them run down. Now, this was the very first thing that you uh, designed. Yeah. And from this, everything else grew. Well, I had to. I met the guy who I work with. It's quite um, fascinating, isn't it? Robin Cruikshank, because yeah. I phoned him up to get it together because he knew where to get plastic and everything. Yeah. And then we just carried on from there. We did a And you and Robin are set up in partnership now? Yeah. Well, let, let's just take this down a minute because underneath, I'll switch it off. Oh, there's one going. <clears throat> underneath is what I think is the piece, the resistance. I can't speak French. Is that oh, near enough? It sounds like chicken soup to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't chicken soup, I'll tell you. It's a table. And it's quite fascinating because at each end, there are two Rolls Royce radiators, chrome plated. And you've got a stainless steel yeah. uh, piece in the middle. Now, in fact, there's only one of these in the world at the moment, isn't there? Yes. Um, well, the radiators are very hard to come by yeah. because um, you phone up Rolls or you know one of the uh, people, yeah. and they say, "Well, what's the chassis number?" Oh, I think we a don't have them Rolls. <laughs> 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 and so they're very hard to get. But we found this man who got them. I don't know how he got them, but he sold them to us. He ran in with them in a little yeah. bag and said, give us me money, and off he went. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't mention the little man then. Uh, uh, how many things have you designed already? Uh, in the exhibition, we have about 40 things. Yeah. Um, about 60% mm. tables, all different types of tables, storage columns. We've done a big hi-fi column like that. Yeah. So lots of small things. Yeah. And uh, your, your own house, you've got uh, lots of these in, haven't you? Yeah. 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 And you're going to go on from 40 to maybe 140. Well, we'll before? carry on now, you know. Yeah. Till we dry off. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now let's see. The exhibition is on at Liberties at the moment, yep. isn't it? And it's free. Anybody yes. can go in. You can all walk in and have a look around. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, they all will now. <laughs> and will you be exhibiting anywhere else? Um, well, we're negotiating to get a shop. Yeah. And then in February we go to France with it, and then we go to America with it. Well, hope it goes all very well. Ringo, thanks very much indeed for coming on oh, Blue Peter. No, it's a pleasure being on Blue Peter. <coughs> it's great, isn't it? Thank you. Come I'd on. like Thank another you. one. John, yeah. Johnny, yeah. here's your yeah. puppy. Oh, my puppy. Fabulous table, that, isn't it? Here we are, puppy. I want to call our puppy Steel, you know. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> idea, eh? Steel. 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 Well, we'll be back again yes, on you know. Monday, and you can see what happened when I flew north in Britain and travelled 150 years back in time to make a special Blue Peter report. We'll also be showing you an uh, historic aeroplane. It's the same as the one that Blerio used in 1909 to fly across the English Channel. And I shall be going all through your postcards for his name, so we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.